He's almost 70 years old and he's gonna be going against Chance Shaw. You guys know that Richard Lupkees is coming back, and if you don't know Richard Lupkees, he's known as the Leviathan. This guy is an absolute monster, a uh, side pressure, just an absolutely imposing figure. Guy's over like 300 pounds, and the crazy thing is he's almost 70 years old right now, and he has a match against Chance Shaw in two months from now, April 29th at the Monster Factory event, and that's crazy to hear that he's almost 70 years old. I know he had some health problems recently, but he's coming back into the sport of arm wrestling at a high level against the young dude chance shaw who's probably about 40 almost 50 years younger than him and if we look at richard lubkees uh, i found a little page on him here so he's born in 1956 meaning he's like 67 right now and uh, he started arm wrestling in 74 uh he has wins on john brzink he has wins on a lot of the top guys um in the sport and let's look at some highlights here in case you've never seen this guy he's he's known for his side pressure just incredible side pressure he's just super wide shoulders large lats arms and he just crashes right down to the side and it's hard to stop but um if there's one weakness about him it's said that he doesn't have the best endurance but from this highlights you can see just kind of what you're dealing with with a guy like this Like literally, that's like gotta be from like the 70s or the 80s right there where it's just, he's going straight to the side. You know it's an old arm wrestling uh, event when the, the pad is literally a circle. I've been to Alan Fisher's uh, place and he has tables with uh, the circle as a pad, which is pretty cool. That's old school right there. I mean, it's just like, he just goes like bam. Bam, just right down. He's him versus Brzezink. He has many wins on Brzezink. Looks like Brzezink is top rolling him here. That is, that is some of the worst camera angle I've ever seen in my life. You can't even see anything that's going on. But like, let's look right here, just right to the side. And then he stares in your face like that. He just like stares you down. Like, this guy's an absolute monster. Look at the intensity of that. That is unbelievable. Just smashes you down and then just, like, gives you that crazy look in your face. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, wow. This is sit-down arm wrestling. That's super cool. You can't really lean back as much or use your lat you just like it's just so much side pressure in the sit down so these are like some of the old school highlights but i'm going to skip to some of the more recent matches here like here's him against dennis at the arnold classic he ended up losing this one but he gave a good fight and let's see what else we got here dude look at the size of this guy he's monster michael monster michael todd God damn. Devin trying his hardest to slip out of Richard's hand there. The way he sets up is just, just like, just goes like this. Just goes right down. Old school style. Oh wow. Him against Bresnan. Here's uh, Michael Todd again. The one thing I saw him losing to Michael Todd on another occasion at the UAL and the Kings move, it seemed like he was like super strong at center table, but he didn't know what to do with the Kings move. He didn't know how to like climb, which you'll see in this right here. And he elbow fouled right there too. Like he's got so much strength, but Doesn't, doesn't appear to be the most technical guy. Like he doesn't seem to be adjusting very well in this position. Oh, that was a really good adjustment. Oh my God, that looked like a pin there. Holy shit. But then he gives up. That's crazy. 
The fact that he's almost 70 years old and he's going to be going against Chance Shaw, who's like, I think like 25. It's crazy, crazy. Like 45 year difference. Just like, I mean, you can watch this whole video if you want to see everything. There's so many good highlights here. Like he's, he has wins on all these big guys. Oh, this is this is the match I was talking about where he got in the king's move against Michael Todd and he didn't really know how to deal with it though. Like he's just holding center table, but why is he so far away from the table? You would think he would have better leverage like being up against the table. Personally, I prefer being up against the table so I can push off of it. I mean, he's looking over to the crowd like he's got it. But then he just kind of like gives it up that was that was a surprising surprising moment there i remember seeing that match but really the question is do you guys think he's going to beat chance shaw that's that's what i'm curious about because chance shaw also doesn't potentially have the best endurance so i think it's whoever maybe whoever has the best endurance or whoever is slightly stronger is going to win because i imagine richard just going straight to the side chance doing his low hand top roll which, as if we saw in his last match against uh, David here, all saying I'm your daddy. He was very strong at the start, but then uh, he ended up gassing out to David. Right now, man, Chance Shaw looks match. like an absolute freak. Now they're gonna have to change this. Like, look at this guy. Much better. like his angle is very to the side as well. So I imagine it'll just be an absolute war of them both trying to go to the side. And David Arabuli fighting that pronator trying to keep it flat trying to not get pinned and it's dead wrist press versus great top roll chan shaw takes it so i mean chan shaw ended up losing that match um because he won i believe it was one or two and then he just uh got gassed out david had way too much endurance but as it re relates to richard do you think that at almost the age of 70 he's going to be able to beat chan shaw i think that's highly unlikely i got chan shaw as the favorite personally being that he's so much younger um you know got so much drive and richard just coming back after some health problems and it just seems unlikely that he's going to be able to crush a young young uh highly competitive athletes. So what do you guys think about this? Leave a comment in the comment section and I'm gonna be making more armistice videos every single day. Make sure to subscribe.